What's up, insiders? Let's jump right in, because if it's Tuesday, it's Newsday. Last month, we introduced visual updates across YouTube, including a new color for the subscribe button, a darker theme, and a handful of other updates. Now, if you miss these changes, we'll leave a video in the description with more information. To bring parity to the studio mobile experience, we're making a few updates there too, including rounded corners for thumbnails, a darker experience in app, refreshed sorting chips, and a bolder typography. As with the previously mentioned changes, these updates are visual only. All functionality remains the same. Now, we began rolling these changes out to all creators on Studio Mobile at the beginning of December. Leave us your comments and questions below. Next, we're happy to announce that we're adding a new feature to make it easier for creators to know at which processing stage their upload is in and how long it will take to complete processing in different qualities. For example, SD, HD, or 4K. You can now hover over the icons in the bar at the bottom of the upload dialog to see more details about the processing status and estimated time to complete. Now, how long processing takes depends on several factors. For example, video format, video length, frame rate, or quality. But we hope this will help you to better understand when your video will be processed. Remember that you can already publish a video once SD processing is complete. It'll then be available for all viewers in lower quality until higher resolutions are available. This will be available to all creators by the end of the week. As ever, let us know if you have any questions. Next up, we've mentioned our experimental data stories on the channel previously. If you missed the update, we'll leave the video in the description. As a quick recap, data stories are insights aimed at helping creators, so that's you, grow and improve your channel based on your analytics. So we're thrilled to share that we're expanding the data stories experiment to include a weekly recap, highlighting number of VODs, live, shorts, and posts published, how many viewers tuned in, percentage of new or returning traffic, key drivers of traffic to the channel, including videos or search terms, weekly revenue, and a quiz to make staying up to date on your channel more engaging and fun. This is available to a small percentage of creators based on feedback. We'll look to expand it further in the future. Let us know what you think and what you'd like to see highlighted in data stories going forward. Next, in order to help creators better understand EDSA exceptions, so that's content that would otherwise violate community guidelines, but stays on YouTube thanks to educational E, documentary D, scientific S, or artistic A context, We've updated our external Help Center article on how creators can add context. Now, there's no policy change, just tips and more detailed information for creators. Check out the link in the description for more information. Next up, we're happy to announce that members will be available to purchase gifts on Android rolling out over the next couple of weeks. Previously, gift memberships could only be purchased on desktop. Viewers can still receive gift memberships on desktop iOS, or Android. We're also experimenting with allowing non-members to purchase gifts. This will be available on a small number of channels for a short time beginning soon. Now, speaking of gifting memberships, there are new ways for viewers to opt in to be eligible to receive gifts. The first being to add a custom URL or video descriptions or pin in live chat following this formula. Or click join on the video or channel page by going to the three dots on the upper right corner and select Gift Settings. From there, toggle to Allow Gifts. Previously, viewers could only opt in by clicking Allow Gifts on any gift membership purchase announcement during a live stream or premiere. We'll leave more information about channel memberships and gifting memberships in the description, but leave us your feedback and questions in the comments. Next, we've launched a new set of articles which focus on supporting creators across each format type. The team will continue creating content for each format in 2023, as well as provide tips for creators in a multi-format environment. Let us know if you have any questions on those resources. And that's about it for this week's News Flash. Now, as you can see, we've been making incremental improvements based on your feedback to our set. We've got a new background, we've got a better camera, and we have other props. Now, if you have any more suggestions, improvements, things that you'd like to see in terms of furniture or things we can get rid of, let us know in the comments and we'll see what we can do. But for now, from the creators of YouTube to YouTube creators, we'll see you next week.